Hi everyone, welcome to this week's lesson plan. And this week, we're going to learn how to use a tool called JobScan to help you write your resume. Have you ever wondered, what are you supposed to write on your resume about your projects, your skills and experiences? Well, this tool, JobScan.co, is gonna show us how to identify keywords and key phrases from a job description and pull it out into a report for us so we can then use those keywords and key phrases in the resume we write this month. Let's get started. These are the key components you'll want to include from the job description. First, you want to pay attention to the job title. And that will typically be something like graphic designer, or content creator, social media marketer there's going to be some type of job summary. And this summary is gonna give you an overview of the expectations of the role, or it could be an overview of your company as well. Third, you may see something like responsibilities and duties, and this is going to be your day-to-day -day activities for the role. Um, it could outline some of the key responsibilities that you're gonna have. They'll prioritize what those would be for you. They can't include everything, but they're gonna give you the majority of what you might be doing in the organization. Next, you're gonna see something like qualifications and skills. So these are gonna be the hard or soft skills. Uh, we've talked about these before, those technical or industry related skills. Um, they can be the specifics of Adobe Creative Cloud and Premiere Pro, or they can be social media marketing or anything industry related to what you're trying to do. So pay attention to those. To get started with using JobScan, we'll need a couple of things. First, we'll visit jobscan.co. Then we wanna make sure we have access to our resume that we created in week two. And then we want to identify the job that we wanna to use to scan our resume against. So real quick trick, use the free scan before you sign up for the tool. It is a free tool and they'll give you five free scans every month. So let's scroll down and use our sample. The first thing we wanna do is grab our resume. So remember our resume from week two, I'm gonna copy that information. This is the easiest way to use the tool. Um, pasting the resume in here is easiest and there won't be any formatting issues. So let's go ahead and click continue. It's starting to analyze the information. Now we're gonna grab the job description. You could use one of their sample job descriptions. However, I recommend you use a job that you really wanna pursue. Let's go back over here to that job that we found. Let's go ahead and grab all the information from the job title about the company, the responsibilities. We'll go ahead and slide into the qualifications and we'll copy everything from there and we'll stop. That's all the information that you need. We'll head back over to job scan. We'll do a paste here of the job description and then we will click scan. All right, so we only have a 26% job match rate. They find that 80% is generally a good match. So this is gonna be a good identifier to find out how you can improve your resume and match those keywords. Now that we're logged in, I have a new job scan report and this one shows 34%. I'm gonna show you how to read this report. First thing is, of course, the job title match. I didn't have content coordinator in this particular scan. So I wanna make sure I do that and I have the education requirements. Again, we're focusing on hard skills and soft skills. We can do a comparison and look at photography, which shows up in this position seven times. I have it in my resume eight times. Now, fundraising shows up on here and I don't have that skill set on my resume. That's okay if I don't have it, but if I have done any kind of fundraising or work with a fundraiser, that's definitely something you wanna add. And then of course, make sure you click on this show more, show less button to, show, to see all of the skills. And there is a highlighted skills section, which will then show you in comparison, this is where they used it in the job description. Here's where they use photography and here's where you had photography in your resume. So it's a nice breakdown for you. It will do the same thing for your soft skills and you can identify how you wanna add those keywords and key phrases into your resume. And this is really gonna increase your chances to get more interviews and sit in front of people to talk about your qualifications and how you might fit with an organization. To share your scan results, it's pretty easy. Head back up to the top right-hand side, click on share. 
copy scan link, and then paste your link into FSO. All right, go ahead, get started. See if you can get an 80% match for a job description that you really wanna pursue. And feel free to reach out with any questions you might have. Good luck.